we are gonna go through a sleeper stretch for the shoulder. This is also known as a shoulder internal rotation stretch for the posterior capsule of the shoulder. So I have Ryan over here who's going to demonstrate how to get into the position and all of the other parts, including the pales rails contractions. Ryan's going to, you always wanna make sure you have something to support your head. So Ryan's gonna come lay on his side. We are going for his right shoulder. So you're going to lay on the shoulder that you are stretching. It's important to get the position and the setup correctly from the beginning. That is very, very important. So Ryan's gonna lay on his shoulder. His knees are gonna be up in the fetal position a little bit, so you can come up just a little bit more right there. You wanna block the lumbar spine from compensating. He's also going to make sure that as he lays onto his shoulder, shoulder stays away from the ear. So we don't want it kind of hiked up here. We want it as far away from the ear as possible. The other thing we wanna make sure is that he's not rolled back away. The shoulder blade is on the ground here on the back of his rib cage. We wanna make sure we pin that down so that we are really able to isolate rotation and we are uncoupling kind of that joint there. So he's gonna roll on top of it and make sure he, his chest stays right on top of that shoulder. The arm here is gonna be a little bit less than 90 degrees, which is right about here. And he is going to keep his elbow at 90 degrees here. What a lot of times people do is end up trying to move the elbow and that is not stretching the shoulder, that is just moving the elbow. So keep the elbow at 90 degrees. To find the stretch, he's going to take his top hand, grab his wrist or his forearm and start to pull down towards his waist. So you can see as he's doing that, it's kind of using a lever to internally rotate his shoulder. If you are not on top of your shoulder, it will pop up and that is not going to be comfortable and not going to give you the internal rotation stretch you want. So make sure you stay on top of it. He now f has found the stretch for internal rotation. That should be right up here on the shoulder kind of, and it can also run down the arm a little bit. That's common. Um, what we are not looking for is pain, obviously, or any pinching in the front of the shoulder here. So we don't want pinching here. That is closing angle joint pain, and that is what we want to avoid. So do not push into that. Once he has found a good position here, he is going to hold it for two minutes. Once the two, as he's doing this, he is going to be deep breathing, letting his muscles kind of relax and sink into that stretch. You will notice likely that as you do this, you'll probably get more range of motion as you go. That's fine. Make sure you just keep pushing it if you can. If you can't, totally fine too. Just relax and do your best not to grimace and fight this range of motion. Once that two minutes is up, Ryan is going to start the pales contraction. Pales contraction is going to be contracting all of the stuff in the back of the shoulder that we are stretching right now. What that is going to look like is making sure his hand here is nice and strong and stable. Inhaling in through his belly, creating lots of tension and pressure, trapping that air into his abdomen and starting to push this hand, the bottom arm, up into his top hand. He is going to start at a 25% muscle contraction, build up to 50, up a little bit more, all the way up to 100% and maintain that contraction. So he is really working hard here. You just can't really see it because it's an isometric contraction, which means there is no movement. We are just contracting those muscles that we are just stretching. Once that 30 seconds is up, he is going to relax his arm ramp back down. When you do that, you're going to start the rails contraction. Again, the top hand does not move. It is just there holding his arm. The bottom arm now, you are going to think about internally rotating down towards the ground. So try to peel your hand off of, or your arm off of your top hand. You're going to build up that tension from 25 to 50, again up to 75, and then up to 100% as hard as you can without making sure that we are hiking our shoulder up towards our ear. So we are looking for internal rotation. That's all of these muscles in here that should not be your shoulder or your neck muscles here. So find the contraction where you are minimizing compensations and you are really connecting to the stuff in the front of your shoulder. Hold that for 30 seconds. When that time is up, then you start to relax, and that is the end of your contractions. Now, if you in your rails contractions wanna add a second amount of pails and rails, start at your new range of motion that you're able to contract your muscle to and do the contractions there. But at least one round of pails and rails will be sufficient to create some adaptations. So with that being said, that is a shoulder internal rotation or sleeper stretch with pails rails.